this is for the officials, just in case you come and see this video. Okay, we just wanted to say something in regards to Mr. Um, Thayer. Um, Mr. Thayer graciously put up a, a call that we placed to the police in regards to warning all of you of his behavior and how it can escalate. And since nothing was done, because your logic was, well, let something happen and then you will react. I mean, that's that seems to be the, the theme here. Let something happen, then you react. And instead of being proactive, everything seems to be reactive. And since then, since you did not heed our warning, um, he was investigated for harassing someone out of town and misidentifying them that the detectives had to come and question him. As you can see here, they came a couple of times. But the point I'm trying to make here, and, and you can listen to the call, is that we were trying to warn you. And look how it escalated, right? It escalated to a point that he was belittling and bashing an innocent person that wasn't even aware that he was doing that, which we brought it to their attention. But that's what happened because you ignored and you want to react. Now the person's name is just blown out in the internet, degraded, um, defamed, everything. And now, you see, you reacted and the detective came and spoke to him. But see, the reaction doesn't take away the action. The action is still there. What was done was done. So now you react and, and what happened? When you should have just heeded our warning, and, and this is a perfect, perfect um, example of how delayed justice is an injustice to the innocent people involved. So we're going to send you a copy of this to the sheriff, to the DA, or to whomever, to whom it may concern, basically, of this video. And we want you to see how if you would have just spoken to him, but you didn't, and that's the outcome. Now, let me say this. What's going to be the next outcome? It, who is going to be hurt? For you to react instead of being proactive. Ask yourself that. Why is there always a need for a victim for you to do something right and be proactive and prevent from someone being a victim? I mean, at some point, you have to start thinking, you know, are you there for the guilty or you're there for the innocent? Because there was a clear guilt on his part that even the detectives came to visit and had to question him that another state, New York, had to call your state to tell you about someone we told you about and then now you reacted by questioning him all that back and forth wasted labor time and worst yet an innocent person was the fame and degraded due to your inaction so we're gonna let you hear the call that we made to you that um mr thayer graciously put it on, on the internet and you can hear how we were telling you all the allegations that we were telling you he was doing and he continued to do due to your inaction Again, due to your inaction, that is what transpired. What if that person got killed? Maybe you all should be held responsible for doing nothing. If that person would have got hurt and killed and the media took wind of this phone call that we made to you warning you of him, how do you think that would look to the public that you knew about this yet did nothing? So this is why we make these phone calls. This is why we always email all of you because we want to make sure that no one has any type of plausible deniability. You will all be held accountable if one of these tyrants that you were warned about hurt someone. And that's why we do that. Now, people, it's, it's nice that Mr. Thayer, you know, blocked, blocked out his name and all that. But we all know his name, right? And um, there was a point where if there is, let me just say this. When there's pause in the conversation, that is because looking for something for whatever they're asking. So there was one point where she said, where did you send the email? That's when, okay, wait, look. And, and you know, where, so that was the, that's why the pauses. But it's irrelevant about the pauses. You're, you're looking at you're looking at the conversation, right? But you should be you should be more concerned of that the conversation even took place because you don't want someone calling on you. You don't know how the detectives or how the police will take it. So the conversation in and of itself should be very troublesome to all of you. You do not want someone to call and put your name on any court records because you see he pulled it up and his name is there. So if anything happens going on and the police will call. To see if there's any complaints on you. They will look for it. Because they'll just pin it on you. So if you get in trouble. And you get arrested. They're going to look for all this stuff. And it's going to come up. And it may most likely go against you. So you do not want that done. See he's making light of it. But it's not something to be made light of. You are on the official's radar. You are on public records. As being reported. For possible illegal actions. That stays there. That's it. It's there. See how he pulled it up. So you're all concentrating on the phone call about what happened and as you can see we purposely called a different place because we didn't want bird to to know what we were up to that's why we didn't call loving 
if if, if we would have called Loveland, then he would have been he could have you know found out because he did a, a video right saying that he was going to go to pull public records in his area. So that's why we didn't want to call there. We were filling it out. We wanted to see. That's why you, we ask you, what if? That's why in the end, what did we say? What if he's calling another state? What if we asking questions because we are gauging what we can do so we can formulate a better um, strategy in giving this time? So that was what we call a feeler. We call and we ask. And that's why we always tell all of you, we know what we're stating because we asked already. <laughs> we already went through it. So just remember that, people. Now, to the officials. Here goes the conversation and just listen to it and we put it all out there. All right. You decided to do nothing because of that inaction. Something um, escalated to something that should have happened. Now the question becomes, what happens the next time? Are you going to continue to ignore him and ignore what he is doing to others? Because all the videos are there. And if you need all of them, we'll show you all the videos, the threats, the manipulations, the, the scams, the defamation, everything. It's just escalating, you see? So thank you, Mr. Thayer, for giving us a benchmark because now we can compare. This is what we say, and this is what happened because you did nothing. Kudos to you. So here goes the conversation. Enjoy people, take whatever you want to take from it. But at the end, just know this, we will call. We will call over and over again. And I'm gonna leave you with this. If there was abductions going on, anything illegal going on, why would we call the police? Think about that. Here you go. Sheriff sure, Hey, Dave. I have a question. Uh-huh. Um, there's a person, I don't know you may know him, but he, he goes around harassing police and all that. But right now, he's on live, and he's um calling places that we have mentioned, the you know, group that exposes police online. Okay, what hold it. I'm I'm sorry. I'm having a little trouble understanding what you said. I'm sorry. Did you say the Ricky Bobby? Yeah, Roger. Can you hear me better now? Robert. Then what's the last thing? Okay, and he's online, correct? Right. Okay, and what's he saying? And he's calling places saying that we're going to go in a suck children and okay who who is we uh me so we the people town work we're a group online that um reports you know police and um people that harass police okay i'm sorry and what's the name of your of your website we are the people Hiring for can you spell it for me i apologize there's just kind of an odd echo to the phone um, Tyrant is T as in Tom, Y, R, E, N, C, Tyrant, Ward. Uh, like W-A-R-S? Yes. Okay. And, and you, okay, so why would he say things about you? Because yeah, we wanted to interrupt it there for you to understand what happened just there. Right there, see, he cut out a part where we said that he stated the comment in regards to abducting kids. So what he did was he took out the part that we stated, um, that he said that. And the way he edited it is that he, see, when you edit, well, you all know this, but we're talking to the people that are listening as well. When you do a cut, it's going to sound like it's a cut, right? So what he did was he did an overlay. Now, if you listen to the overlay carefully, it's going to be, you're going to hear background noises and a breathing, like, <gasps> so that's how he filled that gap now if you look at it before you don't hear that same background noise and afterwards you don't hear the same background noise but in that one instant you hear the background noise and the <sighs> that fills in the gap so you don't hear a cut and you don't hear a drop off so that's where he manipulated the video so we just want to show you how he's a devious manipulative person he is that these are the things that he does um in order to garner other people to support him so he can use them as a pawn as something that if it happens to them it happens to them and he stays away clean so again let's listen to it again and you're gonna hear just listen before she is speaking and just we're gonna let it continue just listen carefully and you're gonna hear how the background will come up there's a breathing down and they go straight to the kids now this is important to the officer what what he is stating there is that there was an admission 
of a crime that's happening or going to happen and that you ignored that because you didn't do anything. If, if someone calls you and states that that's what they're going to do, your follow up questioning did not go with that statement. It didn't. So that's why it doesn't make sense that someone would state that and the officer ignore it, ignored it. And for the rest of you, you can see how she is very keen in the conversation where she goes, um, who's we? Um, how do you know? She's very direct and she's listening to what we were stating. So if we would have said what he doctored, she would have caught that and said, okay, what is that? You know, wait, 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 wait a minute. So she didn't do that. So that's another key that he is manipulating and you're believing it. Because again, if you want to call the officer and um, let them know that you heard the video from Mr. Thea and then you ask them, why didn't you go after that person for admitting to um, a crime? And tell them that Mr. Thayer told you this. It's on his own channel. So just pay attention. We're going to play it a couple of times and you can see the transition and the fall off. And one more thing to really pay attention to. When he's doing the breathing, you're going to hear, right? The inhale and the exhale. But the, the, the part you have to really pay attention to is when the, a person exhales, right? Before speaking, there should be another inhale. But there isn't. It goes straight to exhale and then speaking. That's what he messed up. Because it should have been an inhale, exhale, and then another inhale, and then speak. This is how we catch people. But that's how things are done. So just pay attention to that. He is known for manipulating things. And, and you know, people, just take this if you ever have to deal with him in court. Here you go. Okay. And, and you... Okay. So why would he say things about you? Because we're going to go and abduct children. So on, um, on a okay. post, right, the pictures of, of bullies, like, you know, like, it's like a scare tactic where you show where they work and all that. So you show a building, and that's what we do, we show a building. But he's calling these buildings and telling them that we're pedophiles and we're going to go and abduct the children. Okay, so are okay. So what what are you wanting us? Are you wanting to report harassment, or is there something else you're wanting done? Not harassment, at least, but if, if he's calling all these places, they're all going to be on alert and calling you that someone's going to go in and and steal children. If you want all that report, we're just letting you know what's happening. Okay, so do you have any idea where these buildings are? Where these places are that he's calling? Yes, he just called the place. He's on live now. But he called and he said, and he told them his social security and said that we are about to go and abduct um, children from a hospital. I'm sorry, social security? Is that what you said? No, he called the, the security of this facility. Of a hospital? Hold on. Yes, he called you. At um, Mac M A M is Mary A, S is Sam S is Sam Memorial. He called them. And do you know where that is? And I, I, I believe that's Massachusetts. And, okay. And the posting. This is all it says. I'm gonna tell you what the posting says. No, well, no. You know what? Hold on. It, so basically, I mean, if if. If he's calling around the country and telling various locations that, you know, something is going to happen, they're probably going to call their local law enforcement, not necessarily us here at Larimer County. So, I mean, it may just, if they have a concern, then their local law enforcement will address it. Um, I, I can have a deputy call, to call you, but right now we're kind of talking about something hypothetical that, you know, these people might call in um, and it may be a different part of the country. But what's your phone number? Yes. And what's your name? Um, I go by, they know me by Billy Bob. That's an idiot. Okay. So right now they're gonna, they're gonna pull your, they're gonna pull the records and they're trying to find it. He has, we have sent you so many emails in regards to his threat. But he said he's gonna have- You sent who emails? Your service department. About him okay. Why did you shoot him? Him being an investigator, $950 to find us. Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, hold on a minute, because none of that sounds familiar. You've emailed the Larimer County Sheriff's Office about this guy wanting to shoot people with your group? 
Yeah. Okay. And doing what else? That he pays the one nine hundred fifty dollars to track us down. And then when he finds us, he's gonna whack the shit out of us. So have you ever talked to a deputy about that? No, I sent the email. I got a reply from the resident. He even sent us maliciously okay. back our ice address. Where are you? Are you in Larimer County or someplace else? No, someplace else. Okay. So what's the connection what's the connection to Larimer County? Yeah, um you're one of your citizens. Um Okay, uh, do you know where he lives? Robert. Yeah. Okay. Where? He has to report to CPS. Okay. His name is Robert. Give you that. He is. Yep. Okay, and are you sure it was Larimer County you sent these emails to or could it have been Loveland? Um Okay, do you know how long he's lived there? Um, forever. He's there, he's there now. But we sent it to... How do you know he's there now? He's live right now. He's I'm sorry? He's on, he's on his live right now on YouTube, live streaming. Okay, but how do you know he's at that address? So he said it in other... He said it, video. okay. Okay. All right, and so just out of curiosity, so where did you send these emails to? And CPS did go to his house. Okay, well, the address you just gave me is not in our jurisdiction, and that's why I'm I'm asking who you've been sending emails to. It will be the lovely. Okay, all right. Well, they're a different agency than we are. Can, Billy Bob, can I have somebody from Loveland give you a call and talk with you about your concerns? Sure. Okay, so yeah, we're not the right agency, yeah, but I. Since you and I have talked for a little bit, let me get a, a message through to them and have one of their officers give you a call, okay? Thank you so much. Ian. Okay. All right.